So the home screen interface is fairly new and this is how it works now. You've got the Remarkable button up here. This is actually, um, let me go into here and let me just tap Remarkable. If I tap Remarkable, it gets you back to your home screen. You know it's your home screen because it says My Files, right? So there's that's new in the last six months, maybe six, seven months. Um, my files and don't forget that this is breadcrumbs along here so if we go into YouTube so you can see every folder it happens on your computer so you're probably familiar with it but every folder you go into will come along here and you can tap any one of their those they're actual links and you can get back to where it is so I'm going to tap remarkable get back to my home screen all right so that's fairly new your um, over here you can do that and bring up different settings in here now on your paper pro your light setting is in here as well um, this is screen sharing that's airplane mode that's your battery and then there's your wi-fi and you tap it again to hop out you've now got a lot more options in ter terms of how your screen looks so you can up and down these so a to z or z to a changes everything I prefer A to Z you can go by date created you can go by the last document that I opened you can go by the last document I edited um, you can go by the document with the most pages and or the biggest file size but I'm back here now this latest beta update um, is you can see the icons have become much bigger that's medium and that's small and if you like the list view you can use that but I need something visual so I go I'm using small now like the small um, small grid and I like alphabetical A to Z and I actually number I use 0 and 0 1 because when I come on to any direct I use the same naming convention so I, I use my numbering system and I use the same folders on my computer on my iPhone on my remarkable 2 my paper pro my books um oh, everything i just on my ipad sorry um over here little girl is off um yeah so that means when i come into this i don't have to re-remember oh what am i doing on this one where are my folders how have i set it up no i just do the same thing across all of my devices and it's perfect i don't need to think about it i can just get straight to work all right, so that's the button that's updated. This has got more functionality in it. And then there's this down here. So it used to be plus folder, plus notebook and search up the top here. Uh, and you'll see in all my older videos, you will see that. When they put this button here, they moved that menu down to here. So your search is now here. You press search and you get into that window. They've added favorites I think in here so you can just check through favorites um, if you're looking for something you can uh, you can also that's interesting you used to be able to add those together I don't know why you can't now but anyway uh, PDFs there's 742 ebooks three I've only got a few ebooks I don't really use it as an e-reader but favorites um, 19 matches found so they're the ones that you put the star on notebooks notebooks they are calling notebooks the native notebook so they're saying there's 260 on here pdfs are what i've uploaded and you can see there's a lot more because i like my um, hyperlinked pdfs and folders i've got 182 so Anyway, that's the search. It used to be up the top. It's now down the bottom. And the plus is what was up there in terms of a notebook and a folder. A quick sheet, sorry. I think it was. Oh, yeah, the search was over here. That's right. And the notebook folder quick sheet was up the top. <clears throat> a little while ago now. That's what it was. So here you create those now down here. And um, I've just made a video about they've also given you a quicker way to get into quick sheets so instead of tapping this and then tapping quick sheet and you get into another page of quick sheets you can now long press and get into quick sheets see it's 
page 11 of 11 now and you can get in quickly that way again hopping out of the document this is one of the gestures you hop out of the document by pulling down from the top with one finger if you pull down from the top with two fingers you'll open up the document drawer this is called recents and favorites so yeah that's the new whole this hasn't this hasn't changed much um, but I will show you a beta update. Um, so my files is always, this is like your home screen. This is my files, your home screen. Then you can filter by, you can just check in your eBooks, your PDFs or your notebooks. Again, notebooks are the native notebooks. When you go plus, when you press plus notebook, that is what they mean by filter by notebooks. You might think your PDF is a notebook. It is, but remarkable are not talking about that when they've got here notebooks. PDFs are anything you've installed, doesn't have to be hyperlinked, most of mine are, it doesn't have to be. Actually my colouring book's not hyperlinked, that's a dot to dot for another book I was making, that's not hyperlinked. So a PDF is just a PDF, portable document format and everybody knows what PDFs are. It's like a snapshot of a document that is then you know, stitched together for however many pages there are and everyone knows what an ebook is. Your favourites. Okay, what's it doing? Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta go with it, right? Uh, your favourites are here. Everything that you've put a star, so if I take that star off. Let me hop out of that document. Um, I could take that star off because that was back in 2023 <laughs> not doing that anymore um so that's your favorites your tags everything that you've created a tag for is in here you can go down and look at all your tags um, your integrations are the drives that you've connected you can use dropbox onedrive and google drive there your trash is your trash. I don't think you really need help understanding your trash. This is really cool, this space. And um, I see Remarkable now using um, these too, which is cool. I've actually put these into my documents so that you can you use your photo app and it takes you straight to the web page. So that's really cool. But there are here, there are some guides. So you can go there. And let me go back to my files just to get the get it clean and then settings in the beta version they've just updated this they've given help display and cloud their own little spots and um, just bringing a bit more clarity to this section here so this this is like fresh in the last week this has changed its look and so when you go into cloud this is about your connect subscription and back to your account with remarkable my.remarkable.com that's super important um, because that's where everything is actually synchronized and stored besides on your device so that's a very important connection one of the first things i always check with my clients is do you have this set up and do you know how to access it and do you understand the connectivity of it that's really important the display there's um it's in its own section there's something relevant on the paper pro for this, but there's nothing new here. And the help, this is where um, they've put these three things now in help. A note on this, I've said it in a couple of other videos I've just recently made. Don't change this to your own time. That's not what its function is. This time is used to coordinate. It, it, it's used excuse me, to speak to Remarkable so that you can get your updated software and it's synced with the cloud. So if you mess with this, it's going to mess with that, syncing and updating. So again, this is not for you to have time on your Remarkable. That is not what this is. So my advice to you is not to. I wouldn't change. I actually changed it and then I read more about it and then I let it, I went through the process of it correcting itself turning it off, connecting it to my laptop, um, and then leaving it to re-sync for UTC time, which is coordinated universal time, what used to be Greenwich mean time. Okay, so don't fiddle around with that unless you want to mess up 
your syncing and updating. So yes, that does look a little different to what some of you will have and that will be coming out, I'm guessing. Um, they do beta so that they can read all the logs, you know, they um, the information goes back to them and they work out if there's any glitches and then they send it out in an update. So at the moment, it's on the beta 3.19, but when the actual software comes out, you guys will also have the updated version of Set, this is in settings, right? This is down here in settings. So yeah, that's that's basically an explanation of the home screen. Yeah, hope that helps. Uh, a little bit of love on the channel is always appreciated. Thank you so much.